All right, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you, and I'm going to bring this up. You can see there's a video trying to play, and what's going to happen is it's going to come up with the code saying that right there. This item was encoded in a format that's not supported. OXC, I'm sorry, 0XC00D5212. Sorry for the shady uh, video action here, um, but that's the situation. So if I close that, now this doesn't have any sound. So if it had sound, you would hear the sound playing, it'd be a sound playing, but you wouldn't see the video or the picture. I'm going to show you the only way to fix this where it will play on your computer. Now, before we go any further, I want to explain that when you Google this, it's going to take you to all these sites that are going to want you to download, uh, download these programs to... Uh, recode edit it or they want you to download video players and you don't have to do that so don't do that because when you download stuff off the internet you have a very very big possibility of downloading viruses let me show you the way to fix this so it'll work on your Windows 10 computer and once again um, I just want to make it clear that I'm not going to hook up a big fancy uh, in-screen play action. This is just a quickie little video to show you how to do this. So what I've done here, I've brought up my uh, Sony Vegas Movie Maker. Okay, my what I'm using is right there. All right, Movie Studio 15.0 Platinum. And what we need to do is we need to grab that file. So I'm going to add media. And this will work on any of uh, any type of video making program that you have. And then we're going to go ahead and grab that little clip, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And it is now loaded in my player. So when I drag it down to the video line, because this is a video, this isn't a picture. And you can also do this with pictures. And it will work with any um, video maker uh, program you got. You don't have to have Sony to do this with. But I'm going to go ahead and play and you can see right here where my cursor is I'm gonna hit play right there and then you'll see it play in the video okay so that's what we're supposed to see when we hit the uh, play button on our little video with Windows 10 but it won't let it do that so the only way to do this to make it properly work on Windows 10 is you will have to go into your movie maker program or whatever you have and then load it down and then another thing is you want to make sure that your settings are set to the size uh, video that you want now if you're looking at this right here you can see I got gray lines on each side that means that this is not 780 this is not a 724 all right this file is uh totally different so what we'll do to make it 72480 is we're gonna right click on it bring up the properties and then we are going to take off maintain aspect ratio and then hit OK so now what we'll do is we will, and this is in our Sony program, this is not in um, 
possibly not your program, might be a little different. But to make it 784, I'm sorry, 724, 8032, we're going to have to go into properties. I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And then where it says maintain aspect ratio, we're going to take that off. I'm going to de-click it. Do you see what I'm doing? So now it's an open ratio. That means whatever our project and preview is, is what it's going to come out to be when we make it. So then what I've done is I've highlighted it. Now this is again on Sony uh, Movie Studio. I've highlighted it. I'm going to go up to project and we're going to render as. All right. So I'm going to, my settings are already set for 720. Then we're going to come back and we're going to rename this. And we'll just put S-K-U-L-L. And then we're going to go ahead and render that. And you can see that it's rendering the video file. Okay, it's all done. So what we'll do now is we're going to X out of our uh, video make system. We're going to come over here and we're going to find the file where it downloaded which is right here. I know this is a little complicated. Keep up with me, please. Once we click on it, now you can see that the video is playing and it is actually 72480 instead of the size that it was. And we now have a brand new updated uh, 72480 that we can now use on YouTube to make what can we say to make um, titles and whatever you want to do with it. So that's how you do it. And that's how it's done where you don't have to download stupid programs and all this other bullshit crap that might give you a virus on your computer. This is Pete over here at 522 DR Wagon, uh, Pete's Guitars and more. And every now and then I upload a video on here. Not a lot, but sometimes, you know, I like to help people and I hope this helped you out. And please take care. And if it was a complicated video, I didn't mean it to be. Good luck.